Shout out to Marco Pedrana, AMG, Alfredo Jr., Dan Real, Big Mantis, Christopher Gray, Mata Alcusa, Nathan Arseno, and Touch My Dilly. Welcome back in with King Family to another F1 Clash video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to get better starts uh, to your races. Uh, uh, some of you might have been having this problem because I had this problem. Uh, I still do have it from time to time, uh, but I'm going to be sharing some tips with you guys here today that will improve your starts to all races. All right, so before we jump into it, remember to subscribe to the channel, turn on your post notifications. Also, remember to join our 19K subs giveaway. Link is down in the description uh, for that giveaway. All right, where you have a chance to win 600 bucks. What's this in my hair? Where you have a chance to win 600 bucks. <laughs> there we go. Where you have a chance to win 600 bucks uh, for your account. All right, so let's jump straight into it. So for this example, we're using Lewis Hamilton and Charles Leclerc here. The reason why I'm using Hamilton and Leclerc uh, is because one of them is going to be qualifying way out and one is going to be qualifying way in the back uh, just to demonstrate. So we're going to be using Series 4 here. Uh, for demonstration pur purposes, we're going to be forfeiting uh, most of the races as we're not going to be completing them. Uh, so yeah, let's jump into it. And see what you can do so mostly most of the time you you always hear me say you want to start off with a boost uh but since the 2020 season starting off with a boost uh is not kind of it's it's kind of not working out at certain aspects so at certain part when you qualify in certain positions starting off with the boost that uh, does not work too well for you you'll be boosting and losing positions and you'll be like how am i boosting and i'm losing position this game is rigged it's not really rigged it's just that the new meta uh, brings new stuff so I've decided to go with these two drivers because I know one is going to qualify at the front and one is going to qualify somewhere in the middle uh, just to show you guys how to get a good start all right so for this example uh, we're going to run with both drivers on full boost and we're going to wait for uh, the first few corners and see how much position we pick up we'll know Hamilton uh, will pick up a good amount of position will remain in P1 and we want to focus mainly on Leclerc who's in the back here. Uh, there you see Hamilton lost a position on boost. <laughs> really incredible. Uh, we see uh, Leclerc losing positions as well on boost there. Hamilton still not regained. We see Leclerc now jamming in there, uh, making his, his way back to P15. So, all right, we're gonna forfeit right there. All right. So be mindful of that. Hamilton lost a position at the start on boost all right so be mindful of that we're gonna jump back into another series four race here uh and we're gonna implement the new way how you want to start uh with your drivers all right and we're gonna see the difference uh when we do that if there is going to be any difference hopefully we get we get the same track let's go back series four hopefully we get the same track so we can be consistent in our data and our results all right come on search and find a match real quick takes time to find matches all right there we go finding that match all right let's see now uh what we can do uh to improve our starts so the, the thing is uh when you start off with a boost you get a lot of wheel spin uh and your car kind of stall a little bit uh, before it gets to push off all right, so what you want to try and do is you want to watch. All right, so we're going to start off on regular driving without boost here, and we're going to see the performance of our drivers. Do we select mediums uh, for Leclerc? Yeah, let's put mediums on Leclerc. No, nah, nah. let's use softs for the example. All right, all right. So we just started off with boost and we lost positions. Now we're going to start off with regular driving. Uh, and just watch what will happen. All right, we see Hamilton getting a good start there, holding P1, and we see Leclerc also getting a good start, picking up two positions to P12. All right, so you see that difference? Though it's a different track, uh, you see the difference when you don't start off with the boost now in the game. Uh, your drivers tend to 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 get a more comfortable start all right now we are going to be looking at the best way to start for your best start doesn't matter where you are on the track all right so this is going to be how you want to get your best start 
doesn't matter where you are on the track once you run use this technique uh, in your starts you're gonna get good starts all right so I'm gonna be revealing to you guys now a start that I've been using because I had been, been I have been having the problems with me starting off on boost so my drivers be losing positions and I have been playing around with the starts to figure out the best way to start all right so you want to incorporate regular driving with boost uh, when you're gonna be starting all right now when you start a race if your drivers are out in front boosting at the start is going to be the best option for you so let's say we qualified p4 they're behind hamilton and verstappen we would want to boost at the start all right but how to boost at the start is what you want to know and that's what i'm going to be showing you now how to get your best starts all right so what you want to do is you want to start your drivers off on regular driving we're going to make sure to keep a close eye on leclerc down in the back here uh, once the race start like that then you want to hit boost and once you see your drivers picking up a good amount of position, you want to tap on that boost right away. And you'll see Leclerc squeezing himself in there uh, to pick up some positions. All right, Hamilton all the way out there already in P1. Then you just keep that boost until you feel comfortable. Your drivers have settled. Uh, then you want to cut back down uh, to wherever you want to cut down to. And that's going to be a good start for your drivers. All right. However... Uh, if you're in traffic, all right, let's say you both your drivers are in traffic, you want to mostly use this technique when both your drivers are in traffic. All right, so let's say you qualify in P5, P4, not P4, you qualify in P10, P15, at the back of the pack, this technique uh, will be the best for you. If you qualify at the front of the pack, then you want to use this technique as well. So to start off your drivers slow, let them drive off. And once their car starts to move a bit, you just give them that boost and they'll just take themselves away from the rest of the pack. All right. So let's run that again so you guys can see it. And then we'll end the video there. Dropping a lot of flags here for this video. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're going to get back those flags easy. Losing a lot of coins that I need to upgrade my parts as well. But yeah, we're going to win back those coins easy. So let's go. Alright, here we go with the match. Let me run that again at Bayou so you don't miss it. And here we are at Bahrain. So once again, you don't want to be starting dry off on full boost. You want to let your drivers get a little start, small roll in start first, and then you want to boost them up. All right. So that way they'll get away from basically stalling on wheel spin. All right, so you just let them be on regular driving. P14 Leclerc, P1 Hamilton, and just go like two seconds after the start, like that. Once they start to roll off, then you boost them up just like that, and you'll see them just slide into some positions. Uh, and there you see Leclerc picked up two right at the start, and Hamilton is just gone. Uh, in P1 all right so that's the best way you could start your drivers right now in the game uh, I've used it sometimes uh, when I need to use it if I'm grinding I'm grinding well it doesn't really matter as long as I'm in front of a rival but like in GP events and stuff you want to use this uh, quick start method uh, to give you some good starts all right so that's basically going to be it for uh, this one let me know down in the comments how you guys are doing uh, <clears throat> with starts uh, use code word uh, forfeit down below to let me know that you made it to this portion of the video really appreciate you guys so much for watching full videos for all your support and remember to join the giveaway remember to smash that like button 
And that's basically going to be it for this one. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Well, good guys. Bye.